G'day and welcome back Troopers. Today we're going to be testing one of Rowan's builds. This is a pack that's made from generic laptop batteries, not name brand, and it is 20 cells by 12 cells, making it 240p. So we are going to use the iCharger X6. I'll be using the 7p pack here to run a regenerative discharge on this pack as many times as I can do it practically over the next couple of days and find out its capacity and hopefully in a year or so's time we can revisit the video run another check on it and see what its capacity is now to actually do this test I'm going to need alligator clips I'm going to need to take the Anderson plugs off so you can see the, the flat bit at the back and the rounded bit of steel at the front you've just got to grab a screwdriver in there lever that bit of metal back it's like a spring and then that pops off your connector that has been very well crimped congratulations that is an awesome joint rowan has spot welded every joint so with the fuse wire there some fuse wire is spanning two cells but i don't think that it's going to matter one iota on such a large pack and i believe his bus bar materials is just six millimeter house cable then then doubled up and obviously twisted the same method as we all do lately then uses a zip tie through to the other side to secure it and then he's got the perspex top and bottom which is a safety feature that i haven't seen on many packs and then a bolt going all the way through with an insulator underneath it so there's no possibility of it shorting out so rowan i think you should be bloody proud of that pack design i think it's going to set the standard for what's coming forward With the alligator clips all capped on taped up there's three or four layers there so i've got it on the positive and on the negative as i didn't build the pack i took the time to actually grab the multimeter out and just check polarity and we've got 4.059 volts to start with so we'll give that a good charge all the way up to 4.2 and then we'll discharge it back to three volts with a regenerative discharge on the icharger x6 there we go, iCharge is reading 4.062, so slightly lower. There we go, leave that charge. To give you a bit of a rundown on this little screen, the top right hand corner, that's how long it's been running for, so 35 seconds. The amp's gone in, the watts going in currently, uh, the voltage, the amp hours that have gone in, and then along the bottom here, we have got the source voltage is 28.21 volts. We've got 2.2 amps and zero amp hours on the bottom and the internal temperature is 40 degrees. If you toggle the little button on the side, you get a bunch more data and toggle the switch upwards again, give you the internal resistance of the pack. First discharge of Rowan's pack's done, and as you can see from the thermal images, not horrible with the actual temperatures and stuff with those clamps. So, right here, let's take a quick look. We've got 17 hours, 41 minutes, and 14 seconds. Now, it did discharge it down to three volts, and that was the obviously the rebound after it finishes um, discharging. And then we've got 526.74 amp hours. So that is a pretty good result. Let's charge this back up and do it all again. So we have got 24 hours, just a little bit over 24 hours to recharge back up again. She's resting back down to about 4.17 volts and put 527.20 amp hours back in again. Let's go the opposite direction and try again. We're the start of day three. We've got the second discharge done. 252.60 amp hours. Day five, and I reckon I'm gonna call this one. I'm pretty happy with the results so far. 526.39 amp hours. So that is ridiculously within one or two amp hours difference on the three discharges. And we've had varying temperatures and stuff in the shed, so she's been getting warm and cool at night time warm in the daytime it's been very warm now these plugs were getting hot you saw the thermal image earlier on in the video they were getting hot but not horrible i think about 40 45 degrees or something like that 
that's not that bad considering the buildup of heat and stuff over time. It turns out the iPhone I had doing a time lapse was getting hotter than these cables, so I guess it's not so bad. Well, there you go, tubers. iCharge approved itself again. Up to the job for now. It's, now it's, it's done dozens now, so it run four or five days charging, discharging. Bit of a summary 24 hours to charge, about 17 ish to discharge. Uh, 526 amp hours all three times, give or take one amp hour, I think. Very, very close, very happy with those results. I guess the next thing to do is ask Rowan if I'm allowed to come out there, put this pack into service, take another one, take one of his out, one of his good packs out. Hey Rowan, can we do that? Stay tuned for the next one. We've got some mail to open. Take it easy and have a good one.